Okay, I promised you at least three different ways to work this particular question of the day, 25% of 44. Let's first of all look at it with a method that's known as direct translation. Direct translation is when you just turn something that's written into English directly into a math statement. Did you know that math is a language? You can translate into math just like you can translate into Spanish. So I'm going to start with what I've been given, which is kind of, it's kind of math glish as I joke. It's half math, half English here, and I'm just going to translate it. So first of all, you need to know what percent means. Literally, the word per means divide. And cent, like a century, means 100. So if I say 25%, it means 25 out of 100, or 25 divided by 100. Um, pick up a calculator, um, and you would see really quickly that it's super easy to divide by 100. There's a pattern when you divide by 100. Really, when you divide by 100, you're just dividing by the number 1. And as we know, the number 1 doesn't really change things. Uh, because it's just a 1 followed by zeros, we're not going to see the value of our number change at all. All we're going to see is that it loses decimal places, it loses decimal places because we're dividing. So what's going to happen is I'm going to start the decimal from the back where it's at, and I'm going to jump once, twice, two jumps because there's two zeros in 100. So it'll always be two jumps when you lose a percent sign. And I see that 25% uh, is 0.25. It looks a lot like 25 cents, doesn't it? And that can help you remember as well. The word of means multiply. Literally, you can translate the word of into a multiply sign, and that is, of course, 44. And now, this is a pure math statement. It's an expression. It tells us exactly what to do. It says take 0.25 and multiply by 44. I'm going to do that in scratch work. Uh, honestly, if I had a calculator, I would do it in a calculator. Uh, but 4 times 5 is 20. I get 20 again, uh, carry the 2, 22, and then 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 4 is 8, and I didn't leave myself enough room here. Adding these numbers, I get 0, 2 plus 8 is 0, carry a 1, and 11. There we go. Now do remember when multiplying decimals that the decimal places accumulate. However, there's no decimal places in this number. There's only decimal places in this number. So one, two decimal places in the problem, one, two in the answer. And I do get 11.00. Now as a lot of you know, trailing zeros are not necessary. They cancel, they go away, and I get just 11. Now what do you think? Do you think that was an easy way to solve that? Yeah, me neither. And in fact, there's lots of easier ways. Now, direct translation always works. That's the great news about it. But sometimes it's not the easiest way to attack this problem. Here's what I think is the easiest way to attack this problem. And that's to know um, the fraction version of 25%. So let's talk about it this way. Um, I happen to know, if you think about it, um, let's start with, instead of starting with 25%, let's start with all of something. If I want to talk about all of something in terms of percent, the entire entirety of something is always 100%. Now, um, hopefully you agree with me there. So 100%, like I say, 100% of my class, I'm talking about everybody. Well, um, then we should ought to be able to agree that if I cut that in half, I want to talk about half my class, I'd say 50%. But if you half those halves again, half of 50 would be 25. And so I could see that's 25, 25, 25, and so on. So what I've just realized here is that 25% is the same as a quarter. And so another way I could write 25% instead of writing it as 0.25 is 1 quarter. 1 quarter of, again means multiply, 44. And now it's a multiplication of fractions problem. And it's so much easier to multiply with fractions than it is with decimals because you can just cross reduce them. These numbers are both divisible by 4. I divide them both by 4. Multiply straight across. Lose any denominators of 1, and I can see 11 was a lot simpler to get. But it gets even simpler than that. So let us try it a third way. The easiest way, really, to do this problem I saved for the last, um, because the thing about this method is it only works because of that fact, like we were talking about before, that 100% is the same as um, for 25 percent, or and put another way, 25 uh, percent is like a fourth of a hundred. Well, there's an easy, quick way to break something into four equal pieces, and that's to divide. So another way to do this problem would be to take the 44 and literally divide it 
into four equal pieces because we know that 25% is equivalent to one out of four pieces, one out of four equal pieces. So I'll just divide it into four equal pieces. This is the simplest way. And again, this only works because, um, well, I just wrote the wrong number. This only works because 25 is 100% uh, or 25% is 100% broken into four equal pieces. So I'll just divide here. Divides perfectly and I get 11. Um.